For two days running, Brittany Higgins has faced close questioning. Her evidence is crucial for Network 10 and journalist Lisa Wilkinson to rely on truth as a defence in the defamation claim over an interview with Ms Higgins when she first aired her allegations. Today she detailed the immediate aftermath of the alleged assault. When I first woke, the first thing I remember is being panicked about being in the minister's office. The case was lodged after Mr Lehrman's criminal trial was abandoned with no findings against him. Today, Ms Higgins conceded she may have been wrong about some things, saying a bruise on her leg could have come from a fall at a nightclub rather than the alleged assault. She also accepted there was evidence she was naked when found and didn't have her dress around her waist. You're accepting that your recollections at that period in time are potentially unreliable. In relation to whether the dress was on my body or on the ground, yes. In relation to being physically raped, no. As I was being raped, it wasn't my primary concern where my dress was. Mr Wybrow suggested she had reverse-engineered the truth and invented the rape to keep her job. You didn't have sex with anyone that night. You passed out drunk in the minister's suite. It's insulting and it's incorrect. The court was forced to break for a few minutes late today as Brittany Higgins began to sob. She insisted any mistakes in her recollection were due to the trauma of the alleged sexual assault. The case will resume tomorrow. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Sydney.